Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make these simple, really easy opal pendants. Start off using a cabochon that you have lying around. Stick it down with some white tack, blue tack, whatever you've got, onto a piece of holographic film and use a cocktail stick to score the desired shape. I'm going to be doing two different types of opals. Once you're ready, get a pair of scissors and cut them as clean and neat as you can. My hand shakes a lot, like a jackhammer. Hopefully you don't have that same problem. Get a tissue and use some alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol, not the drinking alcohol. <laughs> For this project, I'm using J Addiction Low Viscosity UV Resin. Just fill up your mould to the top, but leave at least a millimetre. And for the other one, I will be putting about 10ml into a little plastic container. This is for my second pendant. I'm going to add some Dela FW Shimming Blue. It's an interference acrylic ink. I added maybe 10 drops, more or less. Again, fill it to the top and leave roughly a millimetre. Put it under your UV lamp for about five minutes. This is my favourite lamp, it's from Let's Resin. It's like a cave. It does the top and the bottom, saving you time. Once it's cured, pour a small amount onto the cured pieces to use as an adhesive. Use a cocktail stick to eliminate any bubbles. Don't torch your mould, you will burn it. Place your holographic sheet carefully, not to trap any bubbles. It can be a bit tricky sometimes, but just lift it up and place it again till you're happy. Squeeze another droplet of UV resin, not too much, just a little bit. Use a cocktail stick or a spatula just to spread it around. Place your mould back under your UV lamp for about three minutes more. Make sure it's cured on both sides. Cut any sharp areas where you may have overspill. Now for the bezels. I chose the black ones which are just perfect for the background as it will make the colour pop. You can use any other coloured bezels. All you have to do is, instead of a clear background, use a bit of black mica. That way, you can still have the black background on a silver, gold. I'm using E600 plus glue. You don't need much, just a small amount, and spread it with your cocktail stick. Stick down the cabochon firmly and just use an alcohol wipe to clean up any residue. This pendant has the blue shimmering acrylic ink. Just look how it glimmers. For this pendant I'm going to use my new Dremel and yes I'm a total noob using this thing but if it's one thing I hate doing it's sanding. What I'm aiming for is a matte finish. Not bad for my first time. Okay, it's not great. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. By the way, it's my birthday, it's my birthday.